Well, first test with the Sony AX53 in real low light. See lots of fireflies out here tonight and mosquitoes. So there's my hammock. I always string lots of lights around it. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. There's the house back there. I gotta be honest, um, so I shot with this all day today. Did a whole bunch of testing, shot my daughter's baseball game tonight. And I can tell right off the bat that uh, the image quality is not quite on par with the CX900 and the one inch uh, chip. It's just not there. The image quality reminds me more of my CX700, but this camera does so many other things good that uh, it's kind of a trade-off. More zoom, better stabilization, better smaller package. Uh, so, but I really am a stickler for that image quality. Let's go now. Nice rip. Playmates, good. Tire each other out. Pink crash on three, two, three, pink crash! I'm a duck. So while we're at it, we might as well try the actual night mode. Um, I can't seem to get it to focus by touching on my face, where before I could get it to lock on and focus, so maybe night mode you can't do that, I don't know. Um, the mosquitoes are crazy bad out here right now, so this is going to be a quick test, but I just want to see if it's actually focusing uh, on my face or moving in and out all the time, uh, losing focus. That would be a bad thing, so let's just try this night, night mode. There is no other lights out here really except those little yard lights way behind me so it's pretty darn dark right now so I could not see the dog over there playing earlier until I put it on night shot mode so it's pretty dark out here come on Gage time to get out of these bugs come on come on let's go Yeah, you did that. You turned the yard light on. Come on, buddy. So I'm just sitting in the house uh, late at night here. It's pretty dark. And I just wanted to reiterate what I said outside, which is I don't think the image quality on the uh, AX53 is on par with the CX900. The one-inch sensor just uh, had a little bit less noise in it. And just 
a little more depth of field, so maybe uh, that's what I'm used to. But by no means is this image quality bad. It does 4K. It just looks more like a home camcorder look, which I know that's what I bought this for is to shoot home movies and stuff. And there's so many other good things about this camera that I think um, I can't get a one inch camera with a 20 times zoom anyway. So we're going to have to settle with this for a couple of years anyway. So 